In this video, I'm teaching you how to edit vertical video on iMovie, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we produce weekly content for creators, educators, and marketers, all in an effort to help you master video so you can do anything. If that sounds like the kind of stuff you're into, then consider clicking that subscribe button now. Thanks to apps like TikTok and IGTV, vertical video is on the rise and likely here to stay. Unfortunately, there isn't a clear-cut way of editing vertical video inside iMovie. So today, I'm going to show you a workaround to help you edit these vertical videos inside iMovie on a Mac. Now, traditionally, when you import a vertical video into a standard movie project, you'll be left with these black bars on either side of the vertical video. These bars, otherwise referred to as wings, will be attached to the video, even upon final export. And we don't want that. We want native vertical video. So with iMovie launched, instead of clicking on this create new button here to start a movie or a trailer, we'll instead click up here into file, then app preview. This app preview project option was created for iOS app developers to quickly format vertical videos that appear in the app description on the app store. However, whether you're an app developer or not, we can use this feature to edit vertical videos inside iMovie. So go ahead and click on OK and insert ourselves into the project. Once inside, simply import your vertical video footage into the project and drag it down to the timeline. Now, you'll notice in the video preview monitor, there are no more black bars on the sides of this video, which tells us that this indeed is a project for vertical video. Now, this is the video I recorded last week showing me attempting to fold a portable green screen. And for those of you who own a portable green screen, you definitely know the challenge of folding these things. So you'll simply continue to edit your video as you normally would inside iMovie, adding more clips, applying effects, and titles. Now, depending on how familiar you are with iMovie, you'll notice inside the Titles and Backgrounds tabs inside this App Preview project, you won't have as many options available as you do when you're editing standard horizontal video. But not to worry. Should you really want to add the pop-up text effect or any other title or background, simply jump into a standard movie project, apply the effect to your timeline, then select it and copy it. Then jump back over to your app preview project and paste the item onto your timeline and go ahead and adjust the size accordingly. Once you're ready to export your finished vertical video, simply click on File, Share, then App Preview. This window will appear confirming that you're about to export a 1080 by 1920 size video, which is the resolution for vertical video. Click Next and choose where to save your file on your Mac. Once it's finished exporting, you'll now have your vertical video formatted and ready to upload. Now that you've got this one in the bag, I recommend viewing this playlist here to locate other iMovie tutorials to help you become a better video editor. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you master video so you can do anything.